Other celebrities have been drawn to Usher's Las Vegas residency since it began earlier this year. Most famously, Kiki Palmer's outfit from the concert caused a stir on the internet when her boyfriend remarked on how suitable it was. Palmer eventually had to obtain a restraining order against Jackson in order to pursue sole custody of their child, which brought the drama to a much darker turn. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. But Usher has become even more in demand ever since it was revealed that he will be the featured performer at the Super Bowl the following year. Dozens of prominent figures have appeared at performances before his stay ends next month. He has reportedly had visits from Summer Walker, Quavao, Kenya Moore, Young Miami, Doja Cat, and many more to watch him sing. The most recent addition to the list is Jane Almani who recently appeared in a show that resulted in several viral videos. Usher gave Monty the royal treatment during the performance, serenading her and having a dance with her during a specific song. Fans react to their sultry on-stage interactions. His wife or girlfriend a good sport cause Babby, one of the top comments reads. Others pointed out how little Usher seems to care about any public drama that he ends up involved in. Usher just singing his heart away while people running his name through the mud. I need to be this level of unbothered, another top comment reads. The R&B icon will release a new album in tandem with his Super Bowl performance the following year. He released Good Good, one of his biggest singles in years, earlier this year. He collaborated with Summer Walker and 21 Savage on the song, which ultimately reached the top 30 on the Hot 100. During the Super Bowl. Go play with me. <laughs> Usher will be the event's headliner for the first time. He did, however, perform in support of the Black Eyed Peas in 2011, when they were the headliners of the Super Bowl XLV concert. Rihanna performed at the Super Bowl halftime show the year before. That information, though, might disappoint some people. There were rumors that the Super Bowl entertainment will feature a 90s reunion. According to these claims, a trio of the biggest musical acts from the decade would perform on the program. Sources have clarified that claims that NSYNC, The Backstreet Boys, and Destiny's Child will perform as a triple headlining act were unfounded reports. The sources for TMZ claim that neither the groups nor anybody else was ever approached about the notion. NSYNC has claimed they have no plans for a tour, record, or residency, but the group's recent reunion at the VMAS may have given rise to the concept. Because Usher intends to depart Vegas at the end of the year, it is ironic that Super Bowl 58 will be staged there. Usher's My Way engagement at the MGM Grand is set to end on December 2nd, according to news reports from earlier this month. Since July 2022, Usher had been maintaining control of the Vegas scene. However, he will only be absent for two months before making a return on February 11th to perform at Allegiant Stadium. Of course, Usher's residency this past summer became a bit of a meme. Videos of Usher serenading a variety of prominent women who attended his gigs have surfaced. Winnie Harlow physically jumped into her boyfriend's lap to fend off the crooner, which was possibly the most remarkable response. The drama surrounding Kiki Palmer being slut-shamed by her boyfriend Darius Jackson because of her Usher concert fit took place elsewhere, at an Usher gig. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.